Good evening everybody, how are we all doing? I hope you're having a good week so far. It's almost the weekend. Today's Thursday, 5th of February 2015. Arrow Uprising, episode 12, season 3. Oliver Queen returns to Starling City. Uh, but before all that, some interesting surprises are in store in this episode. Um, I really enjoyed this episode for a number of reasons. Uh, first one, we go back 21 years ago to... Um, Malcolm Merlin and very, very young Tommy and Oliver as well at one point. Um, we go back 21 years ago to uh, find out obviously what happened uh, after his wife Rebecca was killed. Um, revelation um, came to light that, um, well, we find out who the real killer is um, for, for, of, of his wife, uh, which was very interesting. That was a very interesting, unique twist for me as well, because I didn't expect it to happen and to unfold in that manner as well. Um, at the same time, back at Nanda Parbat before, as you know, as Oliver is leaving, uh, Tatsu, a.k.a. Katana, um, you know, is warning Oliver that he's not really ready to leave, to go back to Starling. Um, but Oliver is saying, look, you know, your Masio has told me that I, I need to go back. Um, you know the city is in is is in is in disarray. Obviously, we know that Brick and his uh, men have pretty much taken over the glades now, and the police have been told to evacuate. They can't get involved. They can't do anything. Um, so you know, Brick and his men pretty much run the streets on, on the glades. Um, so Oliver needs has a need to go back and pretty much, you know, put order back in back into the city essentially. Um, unbeknownst to him, obviously, uh, the rest of Team Arrow, uh, even though everybody doesn't call them that, it's just Felicity, but Felicity, Diggle, Laurel and Roy are all doing their part to keep the city safe, to keep Brick's men, you know, out of the picture and stop them from doing, you know, from taking over the glades. Um, we even see Ted Grant, finally, because I was actually wondering, after last week's episode, um, how even though Sarah has been... Wasn't, wasn't really up to scratch. I kept thinking, well, where's Ted in all of this? Because Ted's supposed to be training her. And finally, we did see him, um, but it kind of looks like that she may have been, he may have been training her off screen. But when they actually, when Laurel goes to see Ted later on in the episode, um, he wasn't particularly happy that she's been out there, um, you know, fighting crime because he believes that she is still not ready. Um, and I have to admit, it was pretty cool seeing Ted in action was pretty awesome so that was good um what else did that did we get yeah sin has dropped a bit of a bombshell on captain lance and at the same time um oh my god i've just completely forgotten what i was gonna say <laughs> oh my days i'm sure i'll remember it anyway um but yeah sin has uh decided that, well she kind of dropped a bombshell on uh, on captain lance so be interesting to see how that one unfolds as, as the season goes on. Um, we also see um, Felicity. I kind of... I wasn't particularly happy with her in this episode um, after Oliver's return when he revealed um, something to, to the rest of the team. She was beyond shell-shocked. And um, for me... She kind of like she kind of sort of made it all about herself. She wasn't really looking at the bigger picture, which is what Oliver was doing. Um, and as as far as I'm concerned, Felicity, you're not the center of his universe. You're not the center of Oliver Queen's universe. You know, he, there are bigger things going on here than than you, basically. Um, so I kind of felt she was a bit selfish in a way. Yeah, she did tell Oliver that you know. Um, about Thea and Sarah and stuff like that, but at the same time, it just it almost felt like she was putting herself in this, you know, as a centre of attention. Um, and I just thought, yeah, no, that's that's just not how it's going to work. And the way that Oliver was feeling as well at the same time, bearing in mind he's not really back back to his hundred percent best as well, but you could see he was feeling hurt. But at the same time, he kind of thought to himself, well, look, what else can I say to convince you that what I've told you is going to happen? Um, and I just thought, yeah, there's, there's nothing else you can do, Oliver. You might as well just leave her to her own devices and let her come back in her in her own time, essentially. Um, 
what else? Oh my God, there was something else I was gonna say. And I can't remember if it involved Laurel and Sin. But there was something I was gonna say and I've completely forgotten about it. But anyway, um, a really, really good episode. Um, as I say, some interesting revelations that happened tonight. And um, yeah, very, very good. And even better was how we saw Merlin arriving at Nanda Parbat for the first time 21 years ago. Little Nissa Al Ghul, ladies and gentlemen. She could have taken him down in one full swoop. It just it would have been hilarious if that happened. But yeah, she, we, we saw we see Nissa uh, pretty much uh, doing some training, and uh, it kind of mirrored Malcolm and Thea training as they as they have as they have been of late as well. So uh, that that was very good to see. But uh, yeah, little Nissa Al Ghul as well. I mean, we've got little Tommy, we've got little Oliver, now little Nissa. So that was pretty cool. Um, Oh my god, it's actually doing my head in what I was going to say earlier on, and I've completely forgotten. So if I do remember it, I'll probably put it in the comments or something, um, what I was actually going to say. So, <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an idiot at times, I tell you. But um, yeah, one thing I want to also announce quickly uh, before I go, um, we have now seen the suit, the exosuit for Atom. Brandon Ralph um, has been, he, he's obviously, he has tried it on. We've seen the full costume. It looks good. I like it. It's very practical, um, it, which is what I was expecting. And, um, you know, there's something very space suity about it in, 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 a, in a sort of sense, you know, some very a bit of sleekness. Um, I know not a lot of people are really liking it, especially with the big sort of A that he's got on the front there. I know that... In the comics, the costume has the um, the atom itself symbol, um, whereas this time it's got a little A. Who knows? Maybe this is just a first of uh, different variations of the costume. So maybe later on, if he gets another costume, he'll probably have replace the A with the atom logo as opposed to having the letter A on there. Um, excuse me. So. I'm looking forward to seeing that. That the first time that we are going to see him in the suit in full glory will be episode 15, Nanda Parbat. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Next week's episode, titled Canaries, we're going to see Katie Lots back, Katie Lots rather, back in action at some point in some degree. So uh, I'm very interested to see how that one unfolds. So that'll be good. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching. See you all very soon. Bye.